Okay, I just got back home. I got my scissors. It's like 9.30ish and I'm ready to open this up. Uh, so I got fragile stickers. They did everything they could. Let me know it was fragile all over it, but it still got friggin' dented. <laughs> all right, so this figure, they, they've had it in the box for the room for a while. The seller, uh, they told me that, you know, it was in pretty good condition for the most part. So I'm just gonna see, I'm just gonna go right into this. Uh, gotta be a little bit careful opening this, obviously. It's a very, very pricey figure. I don't want anything to happen to this. Okay, I don't wanna hit anything important. So, okay, so I'm really, I'm really scared going into this figure. I wanna make sure it's, uh, it's, it's a-okay. We spent 1,000 USD on this, and we had 200 Canadian almost in import taxes. In import taxes alone. Like, that's insane. <laughs> All right, we're going into this. Um, I almost got it. And here's the deal, right? So Alpha Lead is one of those animes where you either knew about it later, you had someone tell you about it, or it was one of your first shows. For me, it was one of my first shows. Uh, that I streamed. TV, not my first. For TV, it was Dragon Ball Z and Sailor Moon. Watched that when I was a kid. I used to go up to the TV. My mom used to me to like, do the dances and stuff in Sailor Moon when I used to watch that stuff. And I could kind of see that going back. I'm like, yeah, that's totally something that I would do. All right. All right, so things I'm looking out for, obviously, damage and stuff. But they said, like, pictures, it looked like it was in excellent condition. Uh, taking it out of the box... I'm probably gonna pause the video and come back because actually I, I, I did I did wash my hands I did wash, wash my I just wash my hands before I did this because hands can trap grease dirt all that kind of stuff make sure if you're touching really delicate and high quality figures like this are also extremely rare figures it's not, it's not high quality it's really old figure it's the highest quality it's just it's an extremely rare figure so I'm trying to be very careful with it something you gotta just watch out for right it's open <laughs> oh, man I am nervous. Oh, these bigger boxes behind me, I just got my display case, but I am not setting it up till I get it all done. I'm trying to UV and dust protect it and stuff. So I don't got artificial light here. I can't fully protect my figures right now, but when they're in the display case and it's set up nice, I'm gonna get some LED on the outside of it. It's gonna, I'm gonna make it look great. So that's gonna be awesome. I almost don't want to open this because I'm scared it's either, like, I know it's not a bootleg. I know it's legit because it sent me so many pictures. I know they're, they're, like, they're a legitimate seller. Uh, look good, but you know, you don't know about yellow, you don't know about discoloration, but it, it, it looked good. Oh my god, I see the box. <laughs> Fuck. I'm really nervous opening this because I put a lot of money. Uh, granted, I do have pay, uh, I have uh, PayPal goods and services on this, so if anything goes awry and is not what is to be expected, or maybe I'm not that smart with bootlegs, but I know what a bootleg looks like, and so far, you know, there she is, guys. A thousand smackaroos on this. This tiny figure of Nana. Alright, a little bit another of a story time. I know you guys don't want to keep cutting in this video, but like like I have to this figure means so much to me, or this character in general. Nana means so much to me. Cause when I was a kid in grade school when I watched the show, I did I did have like imaginary friends as a kid, but one of the imaginary friends that I've had that you know, no shame still reach out to you from time to time was inspired by this character when I was a kid and this really means a lot to myself so you know it's just I mean I just seen the box here and I was like I, I just can't believe it's in my hand like I'm kind of like in shock right now like I'm like shaking like a little bit like, I'm like really nervous about getting this out there she is I can see you Nana I can see you I'm, I'm, I'm actually just shaking like just like I, I can't believe like I've like, I've been looking for this for about a little under two years. Because in the first year, I'm all like, yeah, there's no way. It's just, it's just going to be like, there's no way I get it. So I like, I think I did miss a few opportunities last year. She might have been out for like a little bit less. There was a point where she did drop on Annie Annie very briefly. Like, that was weird. I, I think I missed that. They said it was like absolutely perfect. Look perfect in the boxes. I mean, I'm not crazy about the box. I'm not that kind of person. I'm not super, you know what I mean? I'm not like one of those people where I'm just going to keep this and then I'm going to scalp it in two years from now. Like, no. Like, for me, when I have this figure, maybe the rest of my figures, maybe some of myself, but this one, this one's going to the grave with me. Like, this is so, like, not as so meaningful to, like, myself, to be honest. Like, like, I will never sell this. Like, even if I have, like, a fit, like, 
like a family and everyone and everyone's saying, oh, sell that, like the car, like a toy and stuff. I'd be like, nope. Mm -mm. It's like, if you want, if you want to get rid of this, you got to kill me first. The dead ass. Oh, man. Still getting to the box. I haven't even gotten to the bigger yet. I'm still going through bubble wrap, but I'm trying to be careful because I spent a grand on this. USB in Canadian, that translates to really upset Canadian noises. All right. Oh, we're, we're getting to the box. All right, I'm hoping it's not like, it's like, I mean, there's like a small crease. It's nothing, it's not a big deal, you know? Like with figures like this that are this old, if, if you're like wanting the perfect box, the perfect quality, like brand new, like you're asking for too much. And maybe there is one that exists like that, but it's probably one of those ones on eBay that are like 3K or 4K right now. I've seen a couple of those floating around. And there's this one guy in Japan who's trying to sell both for eight grand, nine grand. That's really greedy in my opinion. There's a price where like, okay, it's two hundred three hundred dollars over market price, but it's like really rare, really old, kind of makes sense. But when you get into the thousands for like a really cheap figure like this, it, it, it kind of like rubs me off the wrong way because it's a shame people are like that greedy. I mean, like, I fully support people trying to get some profit off it, but like, there's a certain amount of line, like, like, like a line. How much profit do you want to make? You know, like, that's just my opinion. There she is. Wow. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure if that's discoloration in the back leg because it does look a little different than the front leg, but I'm gonna zoom in and... Okay, the details on the hand, not to be expected to be amazingly detailed because the face and the hair and the boat and the, the, the tie and the hair, that's where they put all the effort in, but I'm just gonna zoom it up. I can't talk. Well, I'm gonna zoom, it, uh, zoom up <laughs> on this so you guys can see. Um, this is kind of like what we're working with here on the side and I'll look under the figure and stuff to see all the detail under the uh, character over the character all that stuff look at all the details and I want to touch the PVC to make sure it's not sticky because uh, you don't know what the humidity was like where they were you don't know what the environment was like all that kind of stuff like man still st <laughs> I stabbed it with the friggin scissors <laughs> oh my god okay this is it I mean the box is as legitimate as it comes they got uh, the companies here the barcode all that stuff I mean this is like people were actually questioning the authenticity of this on reddit but I think this is legit I almost ripped this there's another sticker there's one th there are like the circle stickers and then there's this one stick like tape hidden here and I almost missed that that's crazy. I'm kind of letting gravity do its thing because I don't want to take my chances. Oh, 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 oh. oh no, that was that was just the one I was out of tape. Jesus, be careful. Oh boy, here we go. Careful. Okay, I'm gonna put my rest down here. I'm gonna put this back. Okay, the box, this is the inside for anyone who cares. It's like a blue background there. Okay, master model making. Samaro Mashu, hope I didn't mispronounce that. Yep, Dream Tech, yep, the lead. Oh man, all right. And there she is. Um, absolutely adorable, love Nana, she's cute. The base is pretty basic, but it's also pretty like minimalistic and simple, and I kind of like that to be honest. Is there any? But there's, they have all the tape on the box, like seven t pieces of tape on the box, but no tape on this plastic. It's like, what's the fucking point, you know? Okay, uh, now this is the part where I'm scared for, because I hope it's not super like sticky the PVC, because that's what you expect from the old figures. I'll be really careful here. I lied. There's a piece of tape right here. So is this? There's like one. <laughs> there's one piece of fucking tape on this on this thing. There's like one like slither of tape. I'm just gonna open it from the other side. Careful. Oh my god! There she is. <laughs> oh my gosh, jeez. I'm actually really scared. That's what I expected. Look at that. 
the discoloration is pretty bad. <laughs> fucking off. <laughs> like, fuck. It's like, like, like when I told you guys, like the back leg. No, it's like blending in through the skin. Like it's to be expected. It's such an old figure. Like the white on the like the bottom of the, like you guys can see like the white on like the bottom, the like the underwear and the bottom of the dress. It's still good there. But then you look at that back leg, compare that back leg to that front leg, you can really see some of the discoloration that happened to this figure over time. And uh, I'm going to be honest with this figure. Uh, I'm going to like, you know, if it completely like decolors throughout the years of me having it, I'm just going to get it repainted, to be honest, like professionally, done by an actual professional. And then, um, yeah, I just continually take, o take care of this figure throughout the years. And I'm yet to touch the PVC, but it doesn't look like it has that stickiness to it, but I could be wrong. So this is a little touch test. It's nice. But I see, bit, I'm going to be honest, it was in the box, I said like it was new, but I still see light scratches. I see light scratches on this. Maybe they, maybe they got it second hand and then they're reselling it like on like the third hand or some bullshit, but like... Okay, so the dress is like, I don't want to say it's like fragile, but like, I do want to say that like, it's like getting there. It's like very thin. It's like a very thin PVC across and then the white, like the white part of the dress under, like you guys can see that the white part of the dress under, like that one's very thin and I feel like it's going to be very delicate. So you got to be really careful with that. Um, I don't want to test to see if this comes off the base. I'm not going to try to pull it off the base or anything like that. I'm just going to say the base is one piece with it. And, like, you know what I mean? Because, like, when figures are this old, it's, like, it's very delicate to the touch sometimes. But I, I want to take it out. I don't want to touch it. Like, you know, like, so I'd be really careful. Okay, I think this is, okay. Come on, easy. Careful, careful. Okay. Here we go. There she is. Uh, I'm kind of looking at the back of the shoe here. Yeah, you can see it's like a... Get that. Um, Stability-wise, I think it's it's a one-foot figure. One foot in the, the base, but I think it's pretty stable. Uh, I love the color in the hair. The, uh, the eyes and the face are staying true to this, but there is discoloration. It's, it's really bad, though. It's not minor, it's really bad. I go from, like, peach skin, like a peach skin color, to, like, almost, like like a white like a white like I, I don't know what to call it but like you know what i mean like even if you look, look if you look at her neck it might be hard to see my camera but that her necks maintain that like peachy skin color but you go down to her, her clav uh, not her clavicle her, her collarbone down to her sternum and you can see that white kind of returning back that discoloration um i'm not surprised that there's a lot of discoloration like in a few years maybe two years two three years right now this is gonna be a two decade old figure. This is from 2000, was it 2008? Or was it, and I, I know the show was 2006, but I think I think their release is 2008. And that's when I used to play the the Raw and SmackDown WWE games with my brother on PlayStation. So that, that was a long time ago. Um, but here we are. Um, so I'm gonna give this a three system, grading system in my opinion for when I kind of review figures. I want to look at the make of the figure, the color of the figure, then the overall quality. This is a much older figure, so I can't be too hard on it, to be honest. Um, but I'm going to start with the make, so like all like the sculpting, the details and all that. Uh, on the back of her dress, they do have some of that like scrunching fabric kind of detail. They have that in the middle, they have it on, on the edges. Uh, it's a really old figure, so when I feel it, like I can feel it's like an older PVC. It's not like the new one, and you feel down the skin down her like legs and stuff like I don't want to say it's sticky but like if you happen in the humid environment it would have got there like the hand is good normally like these black plastics on these especially like, some of the bunny characters that are old like my uh, Harvey one was really sticky when I first got it so when I saw this black plastic I thought okay it's probably gonna be like sticky or something I'm gonna have to wash it but no it's not sticky at all and that's absolutely great um what else can I say about the make about this uh I think the shoes are very simple. It's not crazy detailed or anything like that. Um, there's no like ridiculous shading work or anything like all the new figures have. It's just, it's like simple like matte, matte colors. It's, it's, it's not really, 
anything too extravagant. Um, but I don't really care too much about that because this is like it's, this is one of those figures where it's like way too sun uh, like sentimental towards myself. So even if it's like the not greatest looking figure, it still means a shit ton to me more than all my collection. Like this is gonna mean the most to me forever. Like, and I'm like really like like amazed how I have this in my hand like in person like this is like it's it, it's still insane I, I, I still can't get over this like this is actually insane um so yeah uh giving it uh out of scale on 10 for the make it's gonna be like a 6.5 to 7 but that's just because it's an older figure you know it just it doesn't have much going on there's this part in the back of the hair like this line over here that divides where the growth point for the hair is um and even like you look here to like the like the front of the the front hair is the the framing in the front hair towards the back there's that line and it's like it, it's really rough because they focused more on the front of her face and the hair in the front of her face they focus so much on that they focus so much on the, the the tie that's <laughs> looped around her hair that uh you know if anyone watches the show we know how she got that obviously um yeah it, it's a shame um because this, this coloration is not going to help me with the coloring grading of this figure like in my three system thing that i'm kind of making up so far 6.5 i'll give it like a 7 actually because like the front it's very nice I give it like a 7 out of 10 on the make. Now for the coloring, it's very simple. It's very basic. Uh, she isn't wearing the most magnificent, amazing outfit. So for that, I'm going to have to give it like, like it's also like like a 7. Because like, I was to, it was, it was, it's closer to 6 than 7 to be honest. Um, so like, because like, I'm being like, I'm being like very objective. And this, even though I really love this character, I want to give her just a 10, 10. Because she's the best kit figure ever. But I obviously can't do that. I got to be very objective. And it's closer to a 6.5 for the colors because there's not too, too much going on. Uh, and then the overall is going to be a 7. And 7 is based, uh, biased. Um, it's actually, like, I think if anyone else who didn't give a fuck about the show just looked at this and gave an overall rating, they probably would have given it, like, a 5. I'm going to be completely dead ass, you know. Uh, but for myself, like, like this is nothing too, like, amazing for a lot of people. But like I love this so much. Like for me, like for me, this is a ten out of ten. Like even if you go to, if you go to like my anime list, bro, I believe will still be a ten out of ten from the beginning to watch the show. So when I still watch the show, I think I watched that show like twenty, like twenty or thirty times. I watched the English, watch Japanese. Uh, I've read the manga like seven times. I've read the manga so many times as a kid. I just, I just kept reading it. Um, I used like this was a show I watched back in grade school when like I got like fucking like bullied like crazy. So. Uh, this show carries a lot of, you know, so like a reminded of a lot of like my trauma in the past from this show. So it is what it is. Yeah. So overall, um, yeah, I was like, I was really like excited to get this figure. And like, God, it's like, I, I just can't believe it. But, like, I gotta be really careful because I don't wanna, I'm gonna always be careful with this figure, obviously, but. Like, I'm going to have to put it back in the box, back in the plastic, until I get my display case done, where she can be with all her friends. But right now, kind of got to store her back. And I almost got a little motherfucking emotional. Like, I almost got a little emotional during this review. That was, that was close. I had to stop myself. <laughs> I had to fucking stop myself right there. I'm like, yo, shut the fuck up. Don't, don't talk about Great Six. Don't, don't talk about that. But yeah, uh, that's it. That's it. Uh, we're, we're done with this. This is the review of Nana. If you guys happen to have her, which I expect almost no one watching this to have her, maybe like one motherfucker be like, hey, I got that figure, yeah. Probably like one of you motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, but yeah, just super rare. It's like, it's like I think it was like limited to like Japan or something. It's like only like a few in the world. And I'm like one of the people who have her. And it's like, damn, this is on so many people's like wish list. It's insane. And I'm hoping it's on your wish list for the love of the character, not just because it's a rare figure. If you're gonna grail hunt for your a grail figure, it better be something you give a fuck about. You know, if you have a like like a thing on your wish list, it's a grail, and you don't care about the show, about care about the character, please take it off your wish list. Like, let someone else who loves the show get a chance to have it, because this is not getting a remake. It's all the way back in 2008. Like, it'd be a fucking miracle out of my ass. This thing got a, like a redistribution or something. It would've been great. 
I would have saved myself a fucking grand USD and 200 Canadian on the import taxes, but it is what it is. So yeah, that was that. That was the review of Nana. All that good stuff. Um, I'm going to put her back. She'll be on display very soon. I'm going to go over reviewing all this stuff. This is why I've kept everything in the boxes. I'm trying to like review this stuff one by one. Then kind of like put it on the display case, fix it up, make it look nice. Um, I might even be moving houses in like less than a year. So like this is going to be, I'm going to have to re-put things back in the box. I have literally a big a, like bin that I'm going to put all these boxes in. And I, I saved all my bubble wrap from all my shipping because I'm going to use it to protect all my stuff. I'm moving and all that stuff. So I've kept all my bubble wrap. And if you guys want to have a lot of figures, you want to protect your stuff, I highly recommend saving that bubble wrap. Save you driving trips, getting protective uh stuff for your packaging and all that so especially you want to re you want to resell your figures having that bubble wrap save will help you ship your stuff make the message safe and a lot of people would appreciate that so that being said uh this is that's it we're done this is my first ever figure review and this is my first motherfucking figure that i'm like reviewing like that's crazy can't believe like this is the first one it was crazy actually a final little story time this character was on my iPod second generation as my wallpaper. Uh, I I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna put an image of it on the screen so you guys can see it. That image right there was on my iPod Touch 2G wallpaper, and I still remember it back when I was in my home country when I was had the had the whole anime downloaded. I downloaded it in like English, Japanese. I watched it back and forth. Like I watched it in English, then I watched it in Japanese, then I watched it in English. <laughs> I'd watch it so many times, and then, and then one of my cousins looked at it and it's like, "Yo, what the fuck are you watching?" I'm like, "Shut the fuck up! You don't understand. You don't understand this show. Do not even talk about it." Yeah. All right. I'm I'm gonna let this be. Hopefully the camera quality was good. I had like Ultra HD on my phone. It's my phone camera. I'm gonna get a better camera in the future, but. I mean, this isn't helping me pay for shit. I dropped like 1.6k Canadian getting this in my house. So, I mean, like, the camera's gonna come in maybe next spring or something. <laughs> but okay, that's all with that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, hit the subscribe, subscribe button. And then, like, of course, if you wanna see, like, more of this, obviously, I'm gonna keep on more of this. But it really helps me out. If you guys know, support all that kind of stuff. And, uh, yeah, if you guys have any experience with any of the lead character figures is only like two if you have experience with one or the other figures let me know down in the comments let me just know what you think of nana here um yeah it's not gonna be safe from the elements and the discoloration or whatever but i'm gonna touch her up and paint her in the future and just keep her you know even if plasticizer gets effed i'm just gonna keep on taking care of this big that's just this is, this is my child right here basically this is my child literally Okay, thank you guys so much.